Hey, uh, I'll show you my little project of what I've been working on for the past month or so. I found this picture online. I don't know who was it by, who, whose was it. it, just belonged to the internet. But um, I really liked it and I was obsessing about it. And then for a while I forgot about it. <laughs> and then I saw the picture again. So the old feelings came back <laughs> and I searched. I started really searching just to find out, you know, who makes them, whatever, how, um, how much they are and so on. And um, I found that they were being sold on the Urban Outfitters website, but like a year ago, so of course they were not available anymore. Uh, but then I went on Etsy and uh, I found this person who makes the racks, similar ones anyway. Uh, so I asked him to make it for me. It's custom made. <sighs> Freaking shipping of the thing. So it was made in Poland. Shipping alone was 350. Yeah. 350. And this thing is heavy. Okay. <laughs> but it's okay. It was worth it. It's pretty similar. I have my little, you know, fall, winter display um, and it's in my studio but uh, technically I should roll it to another room when I'm teaching but some of my students some of you you already saw it in the studio because I mean I'm too lazy and the thing is so heavy it has wheels but it's just too much yeah I, oh my goodness look at this I cannot get over how look how the little hairs are matching the pot and they are matching my jacket isn't this beautiful? Look. Ginger. Oh. And then I got also this little fella that's super heavy, concrete. Uh, it's just a little tray. And I got this. Where did I order it from? Also on Etsy. I think it was from Great Britain somewhere, London or somewhere. So, uh, I'm sure people make them in the US, I mean, it's just, a, it's just a tray, but I just like how it looks in pictures and I just had to have it so like, yeah, shipping was less expensive this time. Good, good job, Monica, good job, good project. Look, what's on it? Should I give you a rack tour? <laughs> This is a little light from Restoration Hardware. Plant. It's not dying, it's just spread out. Cactus. This one has a sickness in him, I think. The white. I don't know what that is. That's not dust, is it? Yeah. Anyway, this is a candle also from Urban Outfitters. Beautiful. This one is the W. Uh, shoes, my new Tims, because I am going to Poland and it's going to be cold. <laughs> and some stuff here, bags and stuff. So that, my dears, has been my rack tour. Hope you enjoyed it.
so keep going. <laughs> okay, girls, your turn. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Each other, so ladies face the guys, and you do it at the same time. Classes. I was teaching in Midtown today and now I just have a little bit of website work uh, left. Great plans for Sunday. Um, my website, long story short, I have a website. I've had that website for two years, a year and a half maybe. It gets, it's get-dance.com um, and long story short, I've had a bunch of designers working on the, the website, but I was not, it was not quite what I was looking for. So Monica, knowing things best, I figured I'll just do it myself. So I learned watching YouTube videos, how to create website, WordPress websites, I downloaded a bunch of plugins, I got a bunch of content, and I spent a few months, maybe, a few months designing it and making it all pretty and with all those bells and whistles and so exciting, and then it turned out to be crap. Story of my life. Uh, it was not user-friendly, it was, they tell me, not professional. <clears throat> It was super slow and yeah, so that was my few months of work. Um, so I had to rebuild it. I finally found Isabella. Uh, was she took the website with the you know the the look? No, she took the. She basically she rebuilt my whole website. The same look as what you know, I created and she just made it faster and more user-friendly and just better. Normal, I shall say. I'm excited to go back to SEO, you know, the search engine optimization. I always say CEO. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so finally we'll be able to do that because with my old website we tried, but it was taking too much money and too many months to get to those you know, top 10 positions. I still got there on a few phrases. That's pretty good. But I'm excited to start it up again and I'm finalizing the website tomorrow. It will be replaced, my old website will be replaced with the new website so you guys can go see it. And yeah, I did not change it too much. Just updated some stuff. So just comparing the old with the new and I have to let Isabella know what's missing and final corrections and my final thoughts. And no joke, she was the only designer, web designer out of four or five, I want to say, who did not quit. <laughs> I'm such a pleasure to work with you guys. <laughs> It's a true story though. I'll show you what I'm doing right now. I am basically comparing the old and the new. This thing I don't like. I'm so, I cannot get over how it cuts. It cuts my people, man. It cuts off my students' heads. Yeah, you see, this is the, don't you see? 
can see, but this is the edge, right, of the screen. And before we had this animation, old website, where I would like, move my mouse and then the person shows. Same thing on the other side. And the new website, we have them without their heads. So this has to be fixed. I did not add uh, new content, not really. Maybe just, uh, oh yeah, uh, just like a little uh, dance lessons for your company type of thing. Because I started working for different companies. <laughs> That's a great sentence. So yeah, I just did that to let companies know that I teach. And look how happy the companies are with Monica teaching them. This is not zooming in on purpose. There you go. Look how happy. Okay, that's it for today. I'm going to finish the website, rest. It's Sunday after all. It's like 10 p.m. But still, have some hours to rest. And I'll see you soon.